Success is a problem and failure is a formula. You cannot solve any problem without the formula. But on the contrary, we the people of this planet do not believe in all this. We just believe in matching the either side of balance sheets by hook or crook. <laughs> Even my teacher in my school then told me that some, if you don't get the right answer in the examination, make sure you write the same video on both sides <laughs> to get the marks. I wish she was trying to make a fool out of me. And that is where the actual problem began. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. When multiple times a person got failed in his life, is willing to do any number of tricks to be successful. Once there was a guy who was willing to be successful, he said, I have tried everything to be successful. I invested 18 hours a day to be successful, but in vain. I spent lakhs of rupees to be successful, but again in vain. I consulted many people for their opinion, but as usual, it demotivated me. What should I do? I said, it's pretty simple. Ask one more question. He said, what? I said, why? Ask that question, why? Not from anybody, but from you. That why you want to do that. The point of time you get the answer for that, you get a purpose for doing that. Suppose you are standing here, and you have four big bodybuilders in front of you, and you have to fight with them. Your goal is to fight with them. What will you do? You can make any number of goals. I want to do this, I want to do that. But why you want to do that? For doing anything, you need to do actions. And for actions, you need emotions. What are emotions? Emotions are energies in motion. And energies do not come from setting up goals. Energy do not come from fighting. Energy comes from the purpose. Only a fool can fight with those four big bodybuilders. But just imagine, those four big bodybuilders came here to attack your mother. Now it will be a do or die situation for you. Why? Because you got the purpose to defend your mother. All the coaches of a train cannot reach their destination without the engine. And their engine is the emotion and the purpose to do that work. Life's goal should not be measured on the scale of success and failure. The point of time you measure your life on the scale of success and failure, disappointment sets in. Your efforts must be to walk with a vision in your mind. And this way, all the failures, fear will get out of your life. Once the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Modi said, that I have seen various setbacks and difficulties in my goal at every single step. But neither do I work to get success, nor do I work to be successful. There is only one vision in my mind, that is to serve my mother. Setbacks and difficulties may come. Sometimes you may have to take some steps behind. But if you have a clear vision, all the setbacks and difficulties become pointless. Sometimes a lawyer to take some steps behind, to take a higher jump. But that doesn't mean he failed. Success and failure should be seen as a should not be seen as a measure to achieve the life goal, but a lot should be learned from the failure. Because what we can learn from the failure, the success can never teach us that much. If you want to dream, dream not to be something, but to do something. Because this way, you'll enjoy the, experience the joy of doing it. You know what happened with most of the people? Supposedly, they went to watch a very good movie today. And when they come back and somebody asks them, what do you want to be? They'll say, I want to be a great actor. Hmm. Some other day, they watched the World Cup and saw that the Indian team is doing very well like that. And somebody asked them, what do you want to be? They say, I want to be a cricketer. Some other day, they saw that the Indian soldiers are sacrificing their lives for the country. And then they desire to be a soldier and sacrifice their life for the country. The people who change their goals daily, success cannot celebrate. They can never be successful. One thing is for sure, that fatigue is not caused by working. Fatigue is not caused by not working. Well, let there be difficulties, let there be barriers. The vision through which you look at that problem, that is what defines your life. Life's goals must be focused. Because when the goals are focused, 
it becomes a resolution. And when the hard work is added to the resolution, it becomes the supremacy. And once you have a resolution and it becomes a supremacy, then we need not to look behind. Let there be difficulties, let there be pain, let there be barriers. But one thing we have to do, that is we have to keep going. Success will be yours. Success will come to you kissing your feet. Once the former Prime Minister of Britain, Winston Churchill said that success is moving from one failure to another without the loss of enthusiasm. Over to you.